I woke up this morning and Hollaback Girl was stuck in my head and I'm so okay with this on like eight different levels. Today I thought we'd have a bit of fun and what do we do when we have a bit of fun? I go on Twitter and I ask you guys to ask me questions that I then answer. So let's get right into this and, and start this bad boy on a journey. Let's go. Ruth wants to know what my favorite type of cookie is. Obviously Snickerdoodle. I mean, did you just hear the name of the cookie? Snickerdoodle. Also, straight up delicious. That's a win-win. That's two wins. Favorite cookie. Natalie wants to know what my favorite kind of music is. I like that genre of music where it's just Lil Jon screaming over a mediocre trap beat, right? That's my favorite genre of music. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa asks, any advice on building an audience on YouTube? Well, one, patience. Some people get that shiz overnight, and I'm extremely jealous of those people. I've been at it for four years, and I've built myself a nice little community. Consistency is super important, but also remember to, like, love what you do, because if you don't love it, if you're not having fun with it, then the audience can't have fun with it. And that's part of my reason for doing this kind of video, because I forget to have fun on YouTube sometimes. Larison is asking the big questions here. He wants to know which is the highest level of greatness, awesome sauce, amazeballs, or awesome possum. I'm gonna go with none of the above here, because the highest level of greatness is slam bammo. Like, clearly, obviously, like, what are you doing? Josie asks, favorite book? I'm into stuff that, like, kind of upsets me, but, like, to the point of making me a better person, so, like, 1984 like really depressing and like really sad but I feel like makes me a better person when I read it because I just feel more aware of myself <laughs> when I read that book. Also, it's just flat out incredible, but again, it's very, very depressing, so. Yesenia wants to know what the last song I listened to was and she wants me to sing the answer. <clears throat> you know what to do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I hate that song. I hate it so much, but it's just everywhere. Laura wants to know, how do you stay so perfectly rad all the time asking for a friend? Okay. I have found a direct correlation between radness and amount of time spent not wearing pants. Simple as that. Wear less pants, be more rad. They're inversely proportional to each other. Pizza! That's, I don't think that's your name, but Pizza asks me if you could be any Disney character, who would you be and why? After like a lifetime of thought on this, because this is like a lifetime query of mine, I'm gonna go with Crush from Finding Nemo because dude just gets to chill in the EAC all day, has cute little kids, also is 150 years old, which relative to like most fish is like forever alive, so I'm gonna go with Crush just because, like, it's quasi-immortality compared to the rest of the fish world. Aaron Cheese wants to know, what the dick? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. And finally, at Maria Lost at Sea wants to know, what inspires you? I get inspired when I see people who love what they're doing, right? And that's regardless of what it is, in fact, that they are doing. When I look at someone and I see that they are in love with something or in love with someone, it just makes me feel so good. It reminds me that it's a real thing, and I get to chase that. I get to look for it. I get to find those things that I love and I get excited about. So what inspires me, love does. Aww, sappy, sappy, sap. But for real though, the fact that people can get excited about things, the fact that people can get passionate about things and just completely dive into things head first and just love what they do so much, that that inspires me every day because that's how I do things and that's how I do things at my best is when I love them, is when I get excited about them, when I see things around me and I just want to do things with them and it makes me happy. So yeah, that's what inspires me. That's it for this q and I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said earlier, I just, I need to remind myself every once in a while to have fun while I do this because sometimes, you know, it can get exhausting and I don't want to be exhausted when I do this. I want to be happy. I want to, like I said, I want to love this so much. So that's what this was. That's what this week was. I just want to have fun again. But yeah, that's about it. As always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome and I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs> What if I told you I'm not wearing pants right now? Would you believe me? Or would you think I'm a liar? Because I could not be wearing pants, but I also could be wearing pants. You can't see, you know? It's, it's very microcosmic of the world in which we live because there are so many things that can be so many things, but we just don't know, you know? And one of those things right now is whether or not I'm wearing pants, because really, only I know the answer to that question 100%. Only I know that. Which kind of makes me feel special. I'm freaking special.